I'm a lioness. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs>
First of all, if you will imagine that there's a big copper dome over Sebastian, so you don't see him. Okay, so imagine that's there, you can't see Sebastian. Chef comes out, pushing the cart from this side, singing Le Poisson, Le Poisson, be our guest, be our guest. And as you look at the cart, it looks like it's empty on the bottom. Can everybody see the bottom? Mm -hmm. How it looks like it's empty? It's actually not. Can you find the mirror? down there? There's a mirror that cuts this cart on a 45 degree angle. You've heard the phrase smoke and mirrors. This is how they do some of the magic. So that just kind of reflects the front of the cart. What you don't see is that there's enough room back here for a small actor to be riding. So magic, big copper dome over Sebastian's head, chef singing about all the different ways to prepare fish, and then they take this copper dome off and at the very exact moment, Sebastian pops his head up and starts to sing. So there's a couple different things happening here. First off, there's an actor riding back here that operates the puppet. Secondly, the actor who plays Sebastian is off stage singing into his personal microphone. So that's how that moment works. And if you just look at the cart, it looks empty, but things are not always what they seem. And people who ask me about some special effects in Mary Poppins, this is one of my hypotheses as to how they do it. Is everybody on the same page with me? Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Okay. It has to do with a particular accessory of Mary's. Okay, so that's, that's my guess. I'm on video now, so it's forever. <laughs> so that's my guess. You're um, tour. We've got, um, so you can see um, Sebastian's costume in miniature here. The main theme of The Lion King is, of course, the circle of life, and Julie Taymor, the director, also designed the masks. These are the lionesses, and they represent the main theme, which is the circle of life, so everything is circular and rounded, very balanced and symmetrical with the protagonistic characters, you know, the good guys. The bad guys get a little different. Over there, you can see Scar, he's not symmetrical. He's asymmetrical and jag jagged and angular, um, done on harsh, harsh lines to set him apart from the protagonistic characters. So Julie Taymor designed these masks, and then they are custom fitted to each actor's particular specifications. What they do is they take a plaster cast of the actor's heads, which means your hairstyle can't change, otherwise the mask won't fit. So while you're under contract for Lion King as a lioness, you're not allowed to change your hairstyle. It's in your contract. So this is the inside of a hard hat, but it is custom molded to the actor's head mold that they make. Does that make sense? So it's custom fitted. It is the same technology as a hard hat, so it opens and closes. You can tighten it, loosen it as you want to, so the actors have a lot of control over the mask work that they do. And this is different from other mask work because these are not worn in front of the face, they're worn on top of the head. Julie Tamer calls that the double event. So that way you see the one essential expression of the character in the mask, and then you also get to see the actors the entire time. So at no point are any actors covered up completely. You always know there's a human being telling that universal story with the Lion King. Now these look like they're carved from wood. They're actually not. They are a composite called carbon graphite. Carbon graphite has an extraordinarily high strength to weight ratio, which means that they are fairly durable, but they're also a little bit lighter than you would expect. These masks cost about $7,000 a piece to replace, so we're gonna ask you to have two hands on them at all times. So if you have not been five years old for a while, would you please get there now? Because there's a lot of stuff that you can do in this room. Here's what you may do. You may try on Beast Boot from Beauty and the Beast. Over here at Mary Poppins, those chimney sweep rooms come straight out. You can play with those. Just watch that there are 50 people in the room. You know, just watch <laughs> behind you. You may open the umbrellas, try out. We're not in the theater, so it's not bad luck. Birds in the swan are fine. Over at Tarzan, if you want to pretend you're swinging from... Wants to feed, so it's time to go play. Right yeah. She's like, if you haven't been five, you can try And I'm like, he's always five. Yep. We don't have to worry about that. <laughs> let's go play. What are we going to play with? Sit in the bathtub. Okay, let's go. Bathtub. All right. All right, you're gonna put a step here, step onto the plexiglass, step off, and then just sit down. Okay. Good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay. Emily, I'm in a tub. No, no. Use the five. You can use the five. So annoying. That keeps being annoying. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> you can hold a fish friend too if you want. Those what? Are You're the obnoxious one, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, Emily. Get out of the tub. Get out of the tub now. Get out of the tub. <laughs> Here's the menu. The menu.
Nothing. Everything. Hold one. Then. It's all free. Entree. Appetizer. Lapin egg. Lapin egg. <laughs> Lapin. That means that means rabbit. <laughs> what was that, Emily? What was that one? <laughs> what was that one? <laughs> what? It's it's bouwe pigun. Oh, oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there might be lice on it. <laughs> I mean, there are bugs on it already. <laughs> so I mean, you know, it's not like they're risking anything. Come, put it on. I want to put on the swan. There's a lice on the swan. <laughs> Emily hopes she'll grow up to be a beautiful swan from the ugly duckling that she <laughs> Best cousin ever! <laughs> Am I taller? <laughs> How tall am I? This thing is really hard to mount. <laughs> like a buck. <laughs> La cucaracha. <laughs> No, 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 I don't think somebody could touch this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been caught on camera. It happened. It happened. It's the rose. I wonder how it. Happened. I was expecting more. Want to try the boot on? Not really. I know when she said that, I was like, he's not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> like that's disgusting. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm a lioness. That's <laughs> 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 why we can't have nice things. Does anybody have any questions before we take off? Did everyone have a good time? Yeah. Excellent. Well, make sure you've got all your personal belongings with you. Make sure all of the Disney stuff stays here. <laughs> and we will uh, exit the theater. I have collected my personal belongings. <laughs> I have found new personal belongings. <laughs> Personally, I think these should be my belongings. <laughs> and we are now out. So thank you again to... Kimberly! You're right. entirely welcome. Have a great day and enjoy the show tonight. Thank you. Bye! See you later. Bye. And the video's done. So thank you guys for watching.